Hi, one best Beer videos. I'm Peter Loshek. This is Mike Brenner. This is the MLB Odds Couple Show for Wednesday, April 13th. Mike Brenner, let's just get into it. Let's throw that damn record up hey. on the screen. It's Mike right. Brenner, just a typical MLB day for us. I had uh, my big play was the over in KC Houston. I had over eight. They scored five runs in the first inning and not another goddamn can... run. Oh, oh my God, God I didn't know that. Are you game. serious? Yeah, no, I'm totally serious. At five, after first inning, you're thinking that bet's covered. That's five done. Runs Cash in that. The first, but that's part of the course of baseball. <laughs> and then you had. Just a typical, typical, typical situation. Well, one line, you're up two zip. Top of the night, the other team scores one. Exactly, exactly. The Braves did. And you know what pisses me off? I also got belted and pounded on because Toronto got their asses handed to them by the Mets. I mean, excuse by me, the, the Yankees. Yankees. All right, Tulowitzki. All right, this guy makes. What asses? They lost three two. Bro, I understand. Yeah. But where's the bats? I know it's early in the season, but this guy is batting, all right. Point zero four six. All right, Pete. He makes one hundred and twenty three thousand four hundred and fifty six dollars every time he steps to the plate. Well, that's every him. game, every game. Look, excuse me, what he makes. That's a, overpaid. But no, Toronto has not found the bats. And their second highest paid player, Pete, is Russell Martin, the catcher they got from the Yankees. This guy's making over six figures a game. Okay, over a hundred grand a game, and this guy's batting point zero well, eight three. You can, listen, you can't you can't buy a, a high bat dip. You can't buy a high batting average on balls in play. That's the way baseball goes. A ton of variance. Yeah. So that's I just know. the way I know. I just goes. had to yeah. vent because I thought I was going to sweep the board yesterday, like I did in the end. NBA, but that's okay. We're going to bounce back today. All right. There's well, we got a lot of interesting situations. A lot of interesting situations. I'll tell you what I'm thinking about, man. I don't even know where to start. All right. The first, the first thing I will uh, start. Well, I made one bet. Uh, uh, Mike Leakey had a had a not so great uh, first start, but he actually had a great spring. Yeah. He had tough conditions. I in still Pittsburgh. can't believe he lost that over <laughs> yeah, after scoring five hey, runs hey, in the hey, first inning. Totally, I'm sorry, Pete. Totally I'm not laughing yeah, at no, you. No, I'm no. laughing with you there. That just hit me. Totally like a, par for the course. Well, okay. anyway, yeah, so anyway, I'm expecting a bounce back from him at home against Milwaukee. Anderson on the other side uh, uh, probably is going to regress. He had a good first start, a bad spring. He's not that great. But I hit the under the, the under on the overnight lines at 8, uh, okay. minus 113. Now, though, it's totally market-wide, 7.5, minus 109. But I'm still liking that, you know, with these totals, those half lines, those half lines. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, hit, I got 8, minus 113 on the overnights. In my overnight yeah. show, I, uh, I covered that with, uh, with Ian Cameron, I believe. Great. And uh, but I'm liking that. Uh, and the problem with uh, with with totals, of course, is that weather matters. But so you know what? I might pull it if the weather or lineups are our news is different. But I'll give it. I'll give under seven and a half minus one oh nine in Milwaukee, St. Louis. That's a pinnacle line. Okay. What's the the actual money line? Yeah, that? that was one. I wanted to take St. Louis. I was like, I think league's gonna have a, a bounce back start. But yeah. then the overnight opened it like minus one sixty. Oh geez. And okay. I just couldn't get it. Now it's minus. The best line you could get would be minus one fifty three. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, so that, you know, okay. that's, a, that's a high line. St. Louis isn't the kind of team you want to be begging those kinds of No, lines. not this year they're not. They right. have been years past, but when they got rid of John Jay and several yeah. other players, you know. And then absolutely. another one, I identified this in the overnight line show that I did. Texas at Seattle. I'm not a buyer on A.J. Griffin. I think Taiwan Walker, this is probably going to be a good spot for him. I said that I liked the, the overnight line. It opened at minus 132, a mm. little high, but my call was right. But now if I want to give it in this show, the lowest line is minus 142. Wow. So obviously that's going the way you thought it. Yeah. Uh, you going to pull the trigger on it? That's not bad. I don't know. Bad. Minus 142 is getting up there, Mike Brennan. Yeah, I know. A lot of, I know. A lot of variance. Freaking well, bat bit, batting average on balls in play, Mike Brennan. Yeah. You can't control it yeah. in no, baseball. No, you can't. You can't. All right, let's see. Do you have a pick? Maybe Washington? I've got a couple picks. Okay, um, you're one of your picks. Yeah, Washington, actually, they, I don't know. I, I had them yesterday. That was my run line play. And, you know. Listen, if you'd taken them on the minus one, maybe it would have pushed it. Who's yeah. to say whether it was a bad bet or not? You're getting plus money on it. Yeah, yeah, no and doubt. And it was winning until no the doubt. ninth inning. There's no doubt about it. But I, I think, yeah, they're going to come out strong today. But I'm going with them on the run oh. line today. Oh. What's, yeah. oh, again, the yeah. best line we can give you is plus 105. That's at Heritage. Okay. Right, it's plus it, 100 market wide, but it Heritage was 107. All right, plus 105. So, yeah, I'm going with Washington. I think the bats have got to unload. Jason Worth, another overpaid guy, but mm -hmm. he's one that can get out of his slump. He's only batting 107. There's another one making six figures a game. Yeah. But uh, Ryan's, you got you look at Jordan Zimmerman and uh, Ryan Zimmerman, excuse me, and um, 
Bryce Harper, yeah. these are guys making those six figures too, yeah. but guess what? They're batting four and 300. They're, yeah. they're stepping up, so they need to be recognized as well. But I love it. I like Washington to get it done on the run line today, plus 105. Well, Strasburg was good, and yeah, Whistler has a lot of starts. He's a young guy. He could improve yeah. long term, but as of right now, gives him yeah. a lot of walks, a lot of home runs. Feels yeah. like, uh, yeah, I might wind up tailing you on that one. Yeah, I, I just Harry, think it's going to be a solid play. That's one of them. Yeah, then so. another one that, uh, look, on last night's game, I bet the over in Baltimore, Boston, but I couldn't pull the trigger until the last minute because you have to make sure yeah. you keep track of all the uh, the factors. But Did tonight, you do any tweeting last night, Pistol Pete? Yeah, well, not in baseball, but in NBA. Okay, We did a second half under. And a cover. Winner. Wow, winner. I love it. Absolutely, baby. Uh, all right, so, um, so you know, today we've got Jimenez and, and Joe Kelly, and Joe Kelly you know, got crushed his first start. He did have a good spring, but this is a guy who's getting hit. And you know and what? Then, you said it, too. You, you Last week you said, hey, he had a good spring, but he, he might get crushed, and he yeah, did. You called yeah. that one. Well, we've seen this from him a lot. And then Ubaldo Jimenez had a great first start. That was at home against Minnesota. See? That's and that's, that's the same guy that four years ago I yeah. faded all year yeah. and made so much money yeah. on when I he mean, was he's getting gonna, I mean, that, He's obviously going to have a huge regression. It could easily come here. So I'm definitely leaning towards the over. It's just nine, and the Baltimore team total over is just four. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to stay Kelly. off it, but I know. I know. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. That's. I mean, unless unless go the wind is – Well, because I don't know what the weather is going to be. The wind could be blowing in and it's cold, and then you don't do that, you know? But like you said, Jimenez, Ubaldo, he's definitely due for I a, just can't pull – I mean, I, could, I can't pull the trigger on that in a show like this with just the information. Yeah. Now, what's your all-around thoughts, though, on Baltimore? What are the O's? The O's look impressive. Oh, I think they're good, yeah. Buddy, they look I think impressive. they're a little bit undervalued, yeah. yeah. What They've do you got, think? You think it's managerial? Got a little something to do with it? Um, no, I just think that they're uh, that they're yeah I don't know I mean I just know the results I'm seeing I think it's just their players their players yeah, are good like and, and they're undervalued I had him yesterday for sure and then another one that that I'm looking at uh, Carlos Carrasco with for Cleveland he uh, yeah, you know I'm all ca- high high expectations he had a, a, a bad first start yes but he he's going to bounce back in a big way no could doubt. be here and Tampa uh, struggles at home they're like one, one yeah they won one game and at home I had the under yesterday with uh, with Kluber and uh, and Mike Moore and uh, you know I'm liking the under here as well it was plus money on the overnight line. Now the best line I could get is minus 109. It's a little bit tricky to take two unders in a row, but I like Carrasco here, yeah, and Smiley is decent. Pistol Pete, go with it. Go with your gut. Now what's the, the, the money line on the side on that? On that one, uh, for who? For whom? For the Indians. For the Indians. The, still best, plus? the best line we can give you, no, is minus 110. Minus 110. All right, because I'm pulling the trigger on that. I'm going with the Indians. Minus, minus 110? Yes, minus the 110. I think they bounced back strong today with Smiley. Smiley got pelted his first game yeah. as well. And they're just not real strong at home. But this is typical for Tampa. They're not a strong home team until the end of the season. It's amazing the way that happens. But I've watched their pattern. I'm all over it. Glasgow yeah. on the mound, minus 110 money line. That's another Brenner pick. I certainly can't disagree with that. All right. Then another one. You had a nice call with uh, with the Angels. The, actually, that was lose, looking like it was losing. Then they came back came and back. got it. Yep. Uh, Eighth and ninth. They yeah. really came through. I'm not, a, I'm not a believer in Shoemaker right now. Sir Camp. Is, is is what he is, but it's a small line, and I'm definitely leaning towards uh, Oakland minus 109 at Heritage is the best line. What do you think is about that? What it is, what, yeah. is what he is? He What's is, that mean? He is what he is. I mean, do you remember? Like, you remember back in the day when I mean, the guy is was he great? No, is, does he suck? Who was the no, coach of the Vikings that year? Who? Dennis, um, remember he's one. He, he got up on the podium. I don't know. Let's, let's, All right. Let's, 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 let's topic. Uh, minus well, you one. just remind that you're, you're the comedian <laughs> no, from time to time. We got we got fifteen. We games. know who they are. We knew who they were. Oh yeah, yeah. We, we got fifteen games okay. and, and and Oakland at minus one hundred nine. What do you think about that? Uh, I'm not touching it. It's, not touching it. No, I, I'm not. All right. I mean, what do you, what is your thoughts? Obviously, you got some interest in there. I think it's I think there. it's I th- it's you know it's one of those baseball lines that like where I do think there's small value, you okay. know, not huge value. See a tight probably, line probably like that should be about 120 or something yeah. like that, yeah. and you can get. And again, it's going to adjust after the next couple weeks, but I'm I'm staying off of that one. Okay, and then another one that one of the winners that I did have, I had San Francisco on the team total yes. over, although I also had the full game over, which didn't cash. But uh, you know, both PB and Lyles look like they could get crushed here. Yeah. If San Francisco wins, probably they win by more than one and is you could, that have, still, you could is, have San Francisco at plus 145 on the run line. Yeah, I know, but that in that stadium, there's and anything can happen yeah. and PB can get pounded. Oh, PB's gonna get he's pounded. getting old. He's yeah. getting old. So I'm staying, I'm staying off of that one. Why don't you pull the trigger pull on the, the trigger. over? I'll pull the trigger on. No, not on the over. I'll take him on the run line. I'll take San Francisco <laughs> minus one and a half at plus 145. Wow. Wow. You really like them look, Giants, Well, huh? if, 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 if I think you're getting good value there. If they win this one, it's probably by more than one. Well, you know, Posey's hurt, but guess what? The guy who stepped in yesterday hit two home runs. Yeah, I mean, they got, they got, they got a, a, a solid lineup that's solid enough where I think if they win, I like it's, that it's pistol on the Pete. Plus, that's the a confidence money. right there too. Well, you know, it's, uh, these, almost these, had look, me thinking of tailing you. These baseball lines are tough. Mike Brenner, you have any other picks? For I you? do. I'm going okay. with the Mets today. Oh, okay. yeah. I think the Very. offense is way overdue. Uh, yes. Marlins are sending sending Adam Conley to the mound. He, he got had a big roughed spring. up. 
He had a big spring, but he sure got roughed up first start. Okay, yeah. he got bounced all over the place, as did Logan Bear, and he's not, a, you know. But I think today he's going to bounce back. I just think the Mets got to get out of this funk, and today they're going to get it done. Um, what's the current money line and best line? one we can offr you is is minus one thirty on okay. the Mets. Yeah, and that's what I'm going to pull the trigger on. I was okay. looking at one twenty eight earlier, so it's moving in my favor. Well, it certainly, yeah, it opened at minus one twenty one. Exactly, so exactly. So Mets minus one thirty on the money line. That's my third pick, and that's all I'm going with today. That's all you're going with. All right. Why yeah. don't you? Uh, all right. Is there anything else you want to discuss? Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, we, we could discuss every game. Just want to make sure we didn't uh, miss anything that's important. All right, I guess that's about it. Why don't you review your picks, Mike Brenner? Okay, I'm going to go with the Mets on the money line, minus 130. I'm going with the Indians uh, on the money line, minus 110. And I'm going with the um, Washington Nationals with Strasburg on the mound on the run line, plus 105. Okay, and I'll tell you what I'm going with. Okay. I'm going to go with the... Um, the Tampa Bay team total under three and a half, which should be about 125, 130, 135. Ooh, that's around. interesting. I'll shop around for the market best okay. line. Tampa Bay team total under three and a half. I'm that's also an interesting gonna take, pick. Yeah, I'm also going to take the Milwaukee St. Louis under seven and a half. I quoted the line before. And then I'm also going to take the San Francisco Giants run line plus 145. And um, still Pete. Hmm, maybe maybe. Oh, Shaq unleashed in Major League Baseball, baby. I love should, it. Should I tail you on that Washington run line? Maybe I will. You know what? Why not? Maybe you I will. It. But I'm going to do it on the minus one line. So the best line that I will get okay. for, the, for the money line half will be minus two oh seven. Okay. And the best line for the uh, run line will be wash will be uh, will be uh, plus one oh five. Plus one oh five. Okay. You got it, buddy. I like it. I'll and, tail uh, you on that one. So that's a lot of picks. And again, I'm really tempted to give the Boston uh, the Boston Baltimore over nine, but I just can't pull the trigger on. Yeah, right now. Yeah. But you know what? It's early. There's teams like the Atlanta Braves scratching their heads saying what's going on, you know. Um, yeah. But it takes time, and, and it's going to sort itself out. But I, I like the positioning, and I'm feeling good about today's picks. And you know what? I'll, I'll also give Oakland minus Jesus, 109. you can't stop them. You can only hope to contain them. Pistol beat Loshan. I'll also give Oakland minus 109. Damn, so that's five picks for me. Okay. okay. Are we done? Uh, are we done? Are you done? I'm done. So, I'm done. I no. just decided. I'm no. done. That's it. Five picks for me. Three picks from Mike Brenner. Okay. It, I love baseball even when you lose. Even when no, you lose, it's, I love You know baseball. what, though? I just have this comfort, not feeling. I'm yeah. going to beat it again. It's a long season. I've got four Major League Baseball seasons in a row where I have absolutely just not crushed the bookie, but I've come out on top. Really? Is yeah. that true? Oh, nice. Very well, why excellent. Pete, what do you mean? Is that true? I'm going to make it up. No, hey, I love, it's just I love talking about when I beat the book. And it's I like, like if, a guy, if a guy bang, tells you he bangs a hot girl, you're like, really? I mean, yeah. you're doubting him. It's just you're yeah, I remember the first day when you asked me to keep the records and all, and you were like, what, you really yeah. want to? You're damn right, buddy, because we, right. we can get it done. Hopefully so. we will. Tune in tomorrow for Thursday's show. There you go. Go Mets.